For decades, people exposed to asbestos without their knowledge have been forced to fight for justice and compensation. Companies knew that the asbestos in their products could cause cancer and deadly diseases such as mesothelioma even before the 1920s. But they kept that information from workers as long as possible. They put profits ahead of people. Finally, in 1969, after it had become clear that the company hid the health risks of asbestos from workers for years, the Johns Manville Corporation paid compensation to 285 workers in what would become the first legal asbestos settlement. Shortly after, the Clean Air Act became law in 1970. Under this act, the EPA was given the authority to regulate asbestos as a hazardous air pollutant. These two events set the stage for what was to come. Asbestos lawsuits and settlements took off during the 1970s, especially as World War II veterans began to get diagnosed with mesothelioma in large numbers. The first major asbestos lawsuit came in 1973. The Burrell versus Fiberboard suit awarded damages from a large asbestos company to an insulation worker and paved the way for 25,000 lawsuits by the early 1980s. Companies kept fighting to avoid paying the workers they hurt, but the discovery of the Sumner Simpson papers made it clear. The companies knew about the hazards of asbestos exposure, but they continued to keep these dangers secret. These previously hidden documents provided proof that companies actively covered up the health risks of asbestos exposure and its links to mesothelioma. People wanted justice. By 1982, hundreds of companies had been sued. Victims were awarded millions of dollars for their suffering, which resulted in the mighty Johns Manville filing for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection. It was one of the largest bankruptcies up to that time. Other companies followed. More than 70 corporations have filed for bankruptcy since 1982 because of their involvement in asbestos liability lawsuits. By 1989, the EPA had banned products containing asbestos, but the success was short-lived. The ban was overturned by the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals in 1991 Mesothelioma settlements continued through the 1990s, and by 2002, nearly one million people had filed asbestos claims against more than 8,000 different companies. More than $70 billion had been spent in court costs and settlements. Even though 50 years have passed since the first major asbestos lawsuit, thousands of Americans are diagnosed with mesothelioma each year, and asbestos is not banned in the United States. The fight for justice continues. Get the facts and take action. Share this video with others so they can learn more about asbestos and the danger it poses.